Anything to add there? Move on. Another question from Brainerd. What was the final outcome of the internet privacy bills this session? Oh, oh easy, easy answer. The Republicans sold out your privacy interest to telecom companies. No one on the Democratic side wanted it. We believe in privacy and what people can do in their own homes, but the power of the dollar of the wealthy special interest was too much for a leadership to uh, bear, and there's no privacy protections uh, for anyone's Internet. Data. I shake my head. I mean, the first time it was heard, there was only one person on the whole Senate floor the first, the bill was heard in both bodies, and I think in the House there was, it was all, everybody was in support of this Senator Latz, and I don't know who had it in the House, but there was only one senator that voted against that bill in the Senate. And I've never seen that happen with such a huge a bipartisan support of a single subject, and then all of a sudden it just disappeared. I mean, that's, I, that, it, I from think, where uh, I'm sitting. I think Representative Scott had that bill. Yes. And a couple things. Your internet privacy is no different today than it was two years ago. The federal rule that was not enacted was never enacted. And so there's no difference in your internet privacy now than there was before. Um, Minnesota has some very rigorous privacy laws. We do need to look at privacy as it's changing. Um, Representative Scott is one of the smartest privacy advocates in the Minnesota legislature, if she's carrying the bill, I know she's going to come to a reasonable conclusion. Um, but so, what was the sticking point? You, I'm well, still, here's a follow-up yeah, question. I mean, I, I, she just uh, the, from Brainerd. Do the legislature legislators on this panel support preventing internet service providers from selling their uh, customers personal data? Yes. Yeah. I think that's clearly a yes. Yeah. Okay. But we have to structure it because these country, companies all work across multiple state lines. So if your Internet service provider is based in Texas, how do we enforce Minnesota law on a Texas company? And so those are the kinds of details that statute. would love it if everything was simple. But we. So why wasn't that? You know, it's funny, Michelle, that, you're telling me that. And, and, and to me, that makes now sense. But, but that wasn't what. The, the person who was set, dead set against it the first time it was voted through couldn't get that message clear. Right. And nobody could answer what you just answered yeah. in 30 seconds. An article seconds. came out in the Washington Post Unbelievable. three days later. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should just put a wall around Minnesota <laughs> and make Iowa and Wisconsin pay for a <laughs> huge, huge, huge wall. Huge, huge wall. <laughs> we are not going to wall up Iowa and Wisconsin. No federal <laughs> issues. I was told. No federal no issues. Federal <laughs> no global warming questions. But, but well, this people. Fathers, this is really serious. I mean, the whole time we're walking around shaking my head, like, what the heck's going on here? Because I've never seen something that so supportive all of a sudden just, like, disappear. And, and if that's the real issue, I wish somebody um, that was controlling the message on, on in, uh, you know, know. And not to point at you, Michelle, but, you know, at Senator Benson. But I'm not as there. fast on my feet <laughs> as I like to think. <laughs> but that Washington Post article that came out a few days later really helped to, to clarify the issue. Interesting. 